Hey, what's up guys? Gladius here. This video is going to be different than my guides. It's basically a showcase with light commentary. We're going to take Akron fresh off the train and go straight into MLC and demonstrate how well she works without her light cone, how good she is in a dot team, a wealth team, and how good is Japart and Universal Market. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, as a quick disclaimer, although my Akron is free to play friendly at E0 without her like home, my account is really invested in terms of supports. It's not meant to be taken as a direct comparison to everyone else who have different builds and relics. So we're going to take her to the strongest content we have, the MLC 12 second half, with Sam having a combined HP of 2 million on the second wave. Now, I marked all the stacks of energy that all the teammates can provide for Akron for a better idea how these teams work together. We're going to start strong with the best team I have, and the most offensive spec possible with Rumme and no sustain. Even without her light cone, if you set up a break on Akron, you can also get two stacks with her skill, which I demonstrate here. It's important to know in a Dotcon team how fast she can get her ultimate. Even though she just ulted, now she's almost getting it back. It took me many attempts to get this right, but I figured out to save all the ultimates for when Sam come out on the second wave, so I can push for a faster clear. Now with Black Swan's ultimate, you can actually opt to wait till Sam's turn to use your Akron ultimate and do 25% more damage. But I'm getting these ults back so fast, I don't want to overcap too much. So what I'm aiming for is to actually get another ultimate after this ultimate and do two ultimates in one cycle. After so many attempts, I really wasn't sure if Zero Cycle was actually possible, but I guess she clutched it out in the end. Just as I suspected, Kafka is really good at charging Akron's ultimate. She can build a lot of energy regeneration, and in combination with all that follow-up attacks, she is the best debuffer in the game. The second team we have here is the same Dokkron team, but instead of Run Mei, we have Japard. This is a way more consistent version with an actual bonafide sustain Japard. And not only that, in with Trend of the Universal Market Light Zone, Akron is actually getting way more stacks and ulting way more. Now, given your Japart is well built with speed, energy regen to get back that ultimate, you have no problem sustaining the whole team, even with a trend like going. Now keep in mind, this is only Akron's second action, and she's already doing her third ultimate.
Now, of course, Jafar is not going to compete with Rummy in terms of clearing speed, but the comfort he provides, I would say, is definitely worth it. Time to say bye. Boom. As you can see, this comp allows Akron to spam her ultimate. She nearly did five ultimates in three turns. And then we have the Weld comp. He's basically acting like a hybrid of offense and defense to basically sustain your team and push for a fast clear. That's the goal, to bring one extra Harmony character. But the problem is, when you have really hard content, you're not clearing fast enough, or if your team is just not well invested, you're gonna run into issues. I will say, for hyper carry teams like this, where Akron is doing most of the damage, you do get heavily rewarded by having her signature Lycone. Which I do not have, so enjoy watching me suffer. If you see me stall on Pella, kind of hesitating what to do is because I want to make sure that the target is not already ensnared so I can apply the resolution light cone. The thing with hyper carry team is that you'll do a really big number and visually it's very satisfying. So here's a good example where Sam is already ensnared from the resolution light cone. And I still want to get a stack for Akron, so I opt to use Hella's skill, which through E4 do apply a debuff. And here's where I made a mistake. I should hold Welt and Akron ultimate for when Sam goes, and then cut his turn in half and delay him to infinity. This is the whole point of a Welt sustain. I did not execute this well. Uh, it did work out for me in the end, but that's not the point. I should have played better. Now, if you are confused about certain details of light cones, team synergies, or just how to build Akron, I do have a full guide out. Feel free to check it out. My name is Gladius. Thank you for watching, until next time.